What's up everybody, Peter McCarthy here, and welcome to today's guitar lesson on the guitar solo for Kid Charlemagne, uh, played by Larry Carlton. I'm gonna walk through each one of the phrases one by one, and I'll play them slowly. There's also tablature for you uh, so that you could follow along with it. And uh, <clears throat> please don't forget that if you enjoy this to uh, like the video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, and shoot me any comments or questions that you might have on it. Okay, let's just jump right in. Uh, the first phrase is an A minor pentatonic lick. Okay, um, you're going to bend the third string on seventh fret, release to five, and then you play seven on the D string, five on the G string again, and then you bend seven up, release it, and bend it up again like this. The next phrase, uh, the third phrase, there's a couple little shifts going on, so I'll play it a couple times. Okay, what's going on here is you're going to take your first finger and you slide from nine on the G string, nine to ten, and then you play ten on the B string, ten to thirteen. So, and then a the top string, ten slides up to eleven, fourteen, eleven. 14, and then bend 14, and then bring it down, okay? So, I'm gonna do this again. That half step bend at 10, you bend it and release to eight. And then you have to jump down to seven on the third string. You bend that a half step and you hold it. Okay, just one fret, remember that. Again, plus Paul, I'm using the neck pickup. And uh, I wanted to zoom in and talk a little bit about the amplifier. And, uh, you know, I think it could be helpful to you if you're looking for, uh, you know, <clears throat> doing what you can with the gear that you own to sort of get as close as you can. Hey everybody, we're back here and uh, we're zoomed in a little bit on the amplifier that I was using to record that with. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Larry, I think uh, I read early on in his career, he used the uh, Fender Tweeds, maybe. I don't really know for a fact. Closest I have is this amp. Um, I really love this amplifier. It's a black face, Princeton reverb. It's not very loud, um, but uh, it's real versatile. So, uh, but anyway, as you can see, it's very, very simple. And I'll show you how I had it set in case you can't read it. Um, it's only about 12 or 15 watts, the amplifier, so uh, not a whole lot of power. And uh, the settings are 10 on the volume is on 10. The treble's on 10. The bass is on two and a half, and the reverb's on about one and a half. <clears throat> and that's it. Uh, volume is on 10 because I really, it's not a high gain amplifier, and I wanted it to overdrive as much as I could get from the amplifier. And um, it might look a little strange with the treble all the way on 10 and the bass way back, but <clears throat> um, the, a lot of Fender amplifiers, uh, you know, passed about five or six on the knob. They don't get so much louder, but they get fatter. Uh, and it's a great sound. But what happens if you don't watch out and you have the bass up where you would normally maybe on five or six, the amp can sound really flubby and indistinct. And you want to kind of avoid that. So um, to sort of compensate for that, the treble is up on 10 for two reasons. For that reason, and um, the bass is rolled back for that reason to avoid flubbiness. But also the treble is on 10 because these, uh, these amplifiers have a, a cool uh, gain boost on the top end that can sound really cutting, you know. And uh, <clears throat> so there it is, real simple. Uh, volume 10, treble 10, bass 2.5, and, and reverb just about 1.5. And, a half. and um, you know, something that might help you if, in case you don't even have an amplifier like this is what I, what I seem to hear when I listen to a sound like Larry Carlton's on, on these 